Today we are going to start the first and basic content from the science textbook. Here I selected Pearson IIT Foundation. Personally, I like it, this book. The content which you are seeing right now here, the red mark which is I'm going to take in this session specifically. You see there are several contents here. All these are I'm going to prepare a separate sections. Okay, keep on watching these things. So having said, we will start in the beginning. First chapter name is called Motion and Measurements. The same content is going to be available in the 7th standard and 8th standard and so on in the future by adding an extra higher content uh, knowledge and uh, more concepts adding to this. Whatever we are going to study in this 6th standard is a completely basic content which we are going to learn. So we will try to understand that one first and then we will try a little bit next level so that you know uh, I, wa I wanted to the bring a content more interesting so that you will get more focus on this subject okay without much delay we will start hello students uh, today's title of the topic is the importance of measurement in the previous session we studied about what is measurement what is the basic understanding of the measurement and also we understood the basic understanding of motion so in this session we are going to discuss completely the importance of the measurement how it is important to you it is required to know i'll bring a couple of examples daily activities example where you will feel the measurement is required that is nothing but importance that without that we cannot proceed further so what are those scenarios what are those examples in the daily life just let's have a look on that i'll take three examples and i'll explain along with that the theory taking one example first example if you want to go some a some location like you know the location name and you will search on the google maps you will get this location when you hit on the direction you know what will it will give you the route map from your location to the the destination location now the question comes here you will read the number over there some x number and in front of that kilometers and also it will show you a time to reach to that destination my point here is why it is required okay the first question you know that is required to know that the distance between your location and the destination location okay and also you should be also you want to know how much time is required to reach to that location then you will be having a clear cut information that so much distance and I can travel with this time so and so time second question here how do you say the distance is this much because the number is given here along with, with that side there is a kilometer or meter something is written over there if you see only the number there is no way there is no value it is just a num mathematical number it is just an integer it's a num it's just a whole number you know but the when the unit is come in place nearby number when it is combined with a number it will give you the meaning of that particular fundamental quantity the fundamental quantity here is let me explain that one from your location to the destination location the distance between the between the, those two points is called length and in the generic word we call it as distance traveled but actually the fundamental point here is that is a length the unit of length is meter but in the google map what we see that if it is a very shortest distance it will show you it will show you a meter and if it is the longest distance you know it will convert the meter into kilometer so on because this kilometer is nothing but a multiples of meter why it is required you know it is just to 
for the reading the simplicity purpose the biggest number is difficult to read all the time so it will make you to the shortest number and it will make kilometer this is about length okay this is required if if that number and that kilometer information is not given then how do you judge how much distance is that right so that's where the importance comes into picture about the length similarly the time as well you don't know how much time it requires so if they mention on the map then you will feel that okay approximately uh, plus or minus 5 minutes here and there you will be able to reach to that destination so that's the where the time is comes to picture the time is always measures in terms of seconds but the in the one hour how many seconds it's a 3600 seconds if it is a one hour journey Uh, the google map will not show you 3600 seconds right it will show you in terms of minute in terms of uh, hour because the number will be get shortened in the same format it will reduce it will be make you to read in easy way so that's why the numbers are uh, reduced uh, by using the multiples of fundamental units going to the next second example suppose you are not well and you got fever when you go to the doctor the bo- doctor will measure the, your body temperature okay when the number is told and in front of that unit is told then only that number that gives a complete meaning if you simply i say 102 99 94 what you mean by it? there is no meaning at all so any number with side by side if you attach unit then the, it will become a complete information about a fundamental quantity you know it will give you clear picture what is that so that is how the temperature can be read okay next third option so when you go to the shop you want to buy a rice bag so the on the rice bag you will see the net quantity the net quantity is 1 kg 2 kg 3 kg whatever maybe it is it will be printed on the paper it will be printed on the sticker so what is this kg how it has come this kg if kilogram if a kilo word if you take it out the only word is left out is gram so gram is you know unit of mass mass is the fundamental unit fundamental quantity sorry for that fundamental quantity so means the rice bag weighs that much weigh that that much of grams but 1000 grams means 1 kg 1 kg so they will not write on the 1000 grams they won't write because they want to simplify the number and which gives the same meaning of 1000 grams that is 1 kilograms the kilo word when it comes that is called multiples multiples of grams so this is called multiple term so this is how the importance of the fundamental measurement is required to know these are daily life activities which is very much required to know that's where the importance of measurement comes into picture now let us start with first uh, we have a length okay to length is it how it these things can be measured just to give you brief information length is the fundamental quantity how it can be measured that can be measured through the ruler scale ruler and also it can be measured through vernier vernier caliper okay different instruments are there to measure the distance they all depending upon the application point of view we need to use those instruments the scale ruler is the by default all the time to measure the length then next is how do you measure the liquids you have a measuring jars okay uh, engraved uh, measuring jars uh, in that the uh, in that you pour the liquid and measure it so that's how we need to measure the measuring jars to measure the temperature to measure the temperature we have a thermometer there are several different categories of thermometer to measure the temperature so the thermometer is the main instrument to measure the 
measure the heat and the temperature the next how do you measure the mass mass you can measure the mass using uh, balance instrument okay weight balance instrument from there you need to measure the mass so like that there are several instruments available using those things we are going to measure see now here anything is grocery take it and the distance you take it body temperature you take it okay everything whatever i'm telling right now you are feeling it in your hand this much is weight and this much when you literally you, you will physically travel and you will feel this much is the travel literally you travel along the time the time is keep on running along the time and you will feel this much is time is taken you physically experiencing these um, fundamental quantities in the daily life so these are called the physical quantities you literally weigh the product you literally weigh the uh, items and on the balance instrument the physical you are doing and finding out the how much weight is there that is phys that is a part of the physical quantity you literally touch the body of the person and see the temperature and that is a physical quantity of temperature okay and you know uh, you literally travel from one location to another you and that is length you measuring that is also physical so all these are physical quantities so okay now in the coming session we are going to discuss completely about physical quantity and what are the different types of physical quantities okay let's discuss on those things i am requesting to subscribe and comment share okay hit a hit a button on the like okay thank you very much we'll see you in the next session